Swedish fish G fuel is here. Dog. Hey guys, it's Ninja Kitty, and welcome back to another G fuel unboxing. This is Phase Jeb's flavor, Ragin' Gummy Fish. I think is what it's called. I don't actually. I'm not sure. <laughs> but if you don't know, Phase Jeb is a member of Phase Phase Clan, and that's probably why you're here to see his flavor being tested. He's probably my favorite member in Phase. Um, it it was Phase. Blaze, Blaziken, um, <laughs> then I started liking Jeb more, so now it's Jeb. <laughs> also, don't mind my hair today, it's a bit, um, eh. I have no idea what to expect from this. Like, I know I keep saying that for the past, like, five that we've tried, but I, I just, I don't know. I've always liked Swedish fish and, like, gummy candies and stuff, so hopefully I like it, but <laughs> I just, I don't know what to expect. All right, so right on top we have the packing slip, the fun thing. A thank you for your order from Cliff, the CEO of Gamma. We got something for Scuff Gaming as usual. Advertising for themselves with Phase Attached on the back. Oh, this is a uh, Phase Reigns Vape Lord Nord sticker. I forgot what it was called. Lit. Okay. This, okay, I knew I heard something else rumbling around in the box when I was shaking it. Let's see. Fruit Punch, Watermelon, some nice packing paper. Oh, just these two. Okay, that's fine. So they threw in two extra flavors, and that's pretty lit. I've tried both of these. Um, I can put the link down in the description. Sorry about that mouth sound there. I'll put the link in the description for these videos if you want to see my taste test on those. I might be talking a little fast today because it's almost time for people to come home, and I can't record when people are home. I'm just trying to, you know, speed it up a little bit. My hair looks red in this light. It's not red. It looks kind of decent. But here we have it. We have Beige Jeb's collector box, gummy. I keep hearing something rattling around it. I don't know what it is. It, it might just be the shaker, but here we are. Look how nice this looks. It's wonderful. The artwork looks amazing. <laughs> it has a bunch of uh, beeped out cuss words around it. This artwork is super nice. This is super pretty. All right, I'm getting into it. Oh, yes, there it is. I was wondering, this is what I thought. I would find the box if there is one. It's one. It's, this this is one of their new products that uh, aren't for sale yet. It's basically a scoop on the go, so you can use this and take it on the go before I break it. And it's just it's more of a heavy duty, you know, scoop to keep your G fuel in, so you don't have to carry a bag around that looks like cocaine. This bit right here is rubber. It has a nice S on it. Um, I don't. Can you even see that? I don't know. But I was kind of hoping I got not an orange one because orange is probably my least favorite color. But it's fine, I'll probably use that whenever I need G Fuel on the go. But here we have, this is, this is super pretty. This is Phage Jeff's Shaker, I think. I, th I think it's his, but it's a nice pink Phage Shaker. Hello, don't focus on me, focus on this. It's more beautiful. There we go. This is a super nice color. This bit's pink and white, as you can tell. And the inside is white. I really like this half see-through, this, uh, translucent thing and it's great and this is my new favorite shaker that's probably gonna fall and scare me but it's fine all right also in the box we have yeah g fuel to go oh that's what's on top that's a two i think here we go we have g fuel to go and on the back it says you've probably already gathered that your g fuel tub has come with a brand new cutting edge highly portable scooper and you know what else you're one of the first people to receive one so yeah we want you to use it put it through its paces and let us know how you like it holler at us on social media and all this fun stuff here we go there is the back of it. And honestly, I think this is actually a super good invention because you can't have kids, you know, walking around with powder and bags and, you know, you know what I mean? I just sounded like graveyard girl there for a second, but I really, this, this, this is good. They have uh, four different colors and if I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture up right here of the colors, but here we go. Raging Gummy Fish. We have Beige Jev, and his flavor, here we are. And also, notice the pink headset. One thing that I've always thought about Jev is I think if he wasn't in FaZe or if he were to leave or you know, FaZe would like disband or something, I think he would be an extremely good YouTuber on his own. Like not just playing Call of Duty, but playing like, I know he plays Outlast, he plays horror games, but if he was more on the gaming side of things, you know what I mean? So if he was, if, if he, would do gaming videos like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. I feel like he would do very well in that compartment. 
Did you see that? That was a nice one. Oh, it's pink. Uh. Okay, I get after I'm like high on fumes now with powder in my nose. I smell, I smell Swedish fish. The more I smell it, the more it smells like Swedish fish. And the scoop isn't on the top as usual. Find the scoop. All right. Oh, oh nope. This thing, don't throw it away. It keeps your uh, powder from getting gross and wet. It's a thing that sucks up moisture. Like the silicone packets that you find in your clothing and backpacks and stuff when you buy them. Yeah, it's one of those things. Yep, my head's cut off today, but I don't care. My hair's a mess, I don't care. I wanna eat this, I mean, taste it. Same difference, right? You should probably know by now, but if you don't, scoops do this handy dandy thing, I'll probably end up breaking it, where they just open like this. And it's a lot easier to fill, you know, get the right thing and fill it up the, the to the right amount. My English, not good. <laughs> I have the nice other pink, oh, you can't even see the side, there. there's a the logo, pink, uh, Shaker cup, I couldn't think of the, the word, for Phase Jeff because pink is his color thing. Okay, there we are. Now I'm going to avoid tasting this one when it's on my fingers because I want to get like the full effect type thing. I don't know. I can almost taste it in the air. Ooh, ooh. That, all, raspberry? Raspberry, that smells like raspberry. I'm into this. Nope, don't don't lick it off the finger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm I'm ah. Uh. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to shake it and this might be my new favorite flavor. Okay, this is a uh, a pink as you can tell. <laughs> and it's mm, a different pink than all of the others. I I believe I haven't seen like fruit punch and watermelon in a while. But it looks different. But I just want to try this because what I tasted on my finger, <laughs> it sounds wrong, was really good. It smells like raspberries, but at the same time, it reminds me of Swedish fish because that's what it's modeled after. Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they nailed the flavor. I think this might be my next go-to flavor. I am very impressed with this. Like usually I'm just like, yeah, this is, this is great. This is uh, what it's supposed to be. This is really good. <laughs> it tastes like Swedish fish, but it's not as strong. Like if you were to just take a regular one and eat it, it's not as strong as that, which is nice. It's not an overpowering flavor at all. It smells like raspberries. It tastes a bit like raspberries, but not enough. So if you don't like raspberries, I think you would still like this. Yeah, yeah, this is really good. Jeff did a great job. And I remember when he was talking to G Fuel about getting his own flavor, that he said he wanted it to be something that he liked and that he really enjoyed, which he is a very humble person and I respect him highly for that because you don't see that a lot, especially on YouTube nowadays. So I just really, I respect him because he's he's still, he stayed true to himself and it's great. Yeah, so I, I think this is another light flavor, but it's definitely, it's super good. It's, I think it's up there with my top flavors. That's what I was hesitating about just now. I think it's up there with my top flavors, which those would probably be probably be blue ice and tropical rain. Those are really the only two that I can think of that are really standing out, especially blue ice. They were all just super good. All the flavors are super good anyway, so it's kind of hard to rank them because I like them all. So eh. it's like picking a bias in your favorite K-pop group. I think this flavor also gives off a bit of a candy vibe. Okay, I'm very impressed by this. Okay, I'm happy with this. Ah, I'm also happy with this. I'm glad I got one of these. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so I highly recommend this. Uh, any afterthoughts of the flavor or whatever that I had will be down in the description. The ones that I forgot to say here. It's not dying my tongue yet, is it? I feel like it might. I don't know. Uh, if it does, I'll let you know in the description unless I forget. Then ask me in the comments. But I, I highly recommend you try this flavor. If you try any, try this one along with maybe another one you want. Maybe do a buy, buy a tub on buy one get one their BOGO sales they have, which that's when I recommend buying their tubs anyway. I'm sorry, my hair just looks like it's in an ombre right now and like from blondish brown to red. But I highly recommend this. Again, uh, I respect Jeff as a person. He is great, Jason is great. And I love him and he's great. <laughs> and the flavor is great. And he's a humble person. And G Fuel is great. 
and thank you for the two extra packets and the the scoop i feel nice i feel proud to get one i feel humbled i don't know what i'm trying to say i'm glad i got one basically so i hope i did good uh showing you this product and you know giving you a decent review again any afterthoughts will be in the description but thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked it let me know leave a comment down below what do you like to see next uh some games you like to see me play i'm kind of getting back into that uh i uploaded a gaming video today that's a first that's pretty much it my links are down in the description as well if you want to check those out i don't really i don't want to plug them anymore so there's those but thank you again so much for watching now see you in the next video but in the meantime remember to be you and stay inspired bye I feel like that was too short. Oh, smells really good.